What's up, guys? Well, it's finally here. Today is July 30th. That means it's officially my birthday. I'm a year older, probably not a year wiser, but I still have my health. And if you have that, you have everything. I think that covers all the platitudes you normally hear. <laughs> I think. But I want to thank everybody that uh, wished me a happy birthday. I appreciate it, and I want to thank everybody who sent me a donation for my birthday. I really do appreciate that as well. If you didn't get on, get in on all that sharing, well, you still have time. Just go ahead and uh, look at the links below, and you can still help make my birthday even more special. Also, great news. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I told you that uh, some people from the Parishioners Coalition were going to match any donations I received up to $170. And we reached that actually within the first week. So that is really awesome of you guys. I have a conference call with them on the 3rd of next month. And as soon as that comes in, as soon as their matching donations come in, we're going to have a really special video, maybe even a live stream. Instead of trying to prepare and hand out food and get little clips here and there, we might be able to do a whole live stream from the little village area, maybe downtown. And I think that will be very exciting. And of course, while we're live, you can join us, ask questions, and all the regular fun stuff we do. So I want to say thank you to everybody that donated for that. We hit our goal. We'll get the matching funds. And uh, instead of just, you know, eight, nine, ten, maybe a dozen people at a time, we're going to do something big and see how far we can reach out, help even more people and that's always exciting taking some planning I do have to there's a couple people I still have to contact and get some information from but uh, we'll get that done it just might take a little longer but again that's all right I thought, you, thought we'd take you with a little with us <laughs> on a little walk down highway 6 this is the part of Highway 6 close to our house, uh, as you know, or maybe not, uh, way down at the other end of Highway 6, I mean way down, is uh, Salu Market. But that is very, very far away from this part. So I thought I'd take you down with us and show you what this side of Highway 6 has, at least on this side. We have a pretty nice restaurant here. Tom Yum Soup, seafood. They're open every night. What you're going to notice on this road is a lot of restaurants. And this time of day, they might all look a little um, uh, deserted, I guess you could say. Not too busy. We used to come down here early in the evening. Uh, Six to eight o'clock. And you'll see that... Uh, all of these places are going to be full of people. They'll have tables set up out front, lots and lots of chairs. And everybody's trying to get their grub on. As you can see, this part of Highway 6 does have uh, traffic lights actually at all the main intersections. There's something I'm not used to seeing. Have a little vegetable market here. And these places right here, like I said, uh, right now they're not busy. Just a couple tables and chairs, but this whole area will be filled later. All of it. And it will be full of people, tables and chairs. All these little restaurants. <laughs> With some delicious, delicious smelling food. Keep going. All right. 
As you can see, the light is red. That does not stop saying light. In a land where you're not used to traffic lights, you just go. But I am uh, too westernized for that if I see a traffic light. I am going to stop and show them how much I appreciate some kind of a form of order in their traffic, which usually doesn't happen. <laughs> I can wait a few minutes for it to turn green. This is a very busy intersection. And down yeah, there, there we go. And down there, of course, we got a lot of uh, stores and things. There you go, the man's red, the man's green. Maybe that can go. <laughs> Second line was waiting patiently for me on the other side. There's another little restaurant here. Highway 6 is, uh, definitely has a lot of, a uh, lot more to it. Well, let me get this. There we go. Yeah, big hotels like this. Restaurants, clinics, pharmacies. Of course, the things you see everywhere else. Mom and pop shops. Hair places beauty supplies but the reason <coughs> I don't come down this way much is simply because of the uh, the heat as you can also see there are not very many shady spots down here and uh, there are not many places where you can like, sit under a tree on a bench if you're walking a long way get a little rest so generally the sun is beating down on you and you're toasty and hot tired and miserable <laughs> and nobody wants that that's why I like to stick to the side streets where there's some shade and everything is not so concrete and bland all the time but who knows maybe one day they will take my suggestion and put some benches and things just out front here in the sidewalks out of the way of the pedestrians like right there if they just had a, like right there if they just put a couple benches that would be a nice place under the tree to stop take a rest but who am I I don't know it's the apple store I do love my apple. Another restaurant. Baby Mart. Over there. I went in there once and they didn't have any babies for sale, so. I think they named it wrong. Over there, I believe, is the uh, lot <coughs> for the area. And again, the same thing as I was talking about back here, they will be lined up with all kinds of vendors over there in front of the entrances uh, later on this evening another restaurant here let's get a look at the menu let's see what they have fried fish stir fried morning glory stir fried spicy beef uh, you can see all those selections It all sounds pretty good to me.
got over here some fried chicken and other things. Yeah. Fried chicken. Hello! There's the menu for that. It's a little fried chicken stand. Alright, you guys have seen all this before because this is up the, uh, the way where the guest house is that I stayed when I first got here. So if you've been following me from the beginning, you've seen all this area before. So I'll talk to you guys uh, later. Alright guys, I didn't want to end the video this way on a low note, but I just noticed uh, this dog <coughs> in the middle of the intersection seems to be too scared to go one way or the other. We're over here at a stand that serves like a hot dogs, meats on sticks and everything. We actually bought the dog a couple hot dogs. And then he went trotting over there and right now I'm concerned because uh, I don't want to approach him because he's very skittish. And I don't want him running out into the uh, traffic. So I'm kind of unsure what to do. There's also a female dog who's obviously just had puppies. Very skinny and thin. <clears throat> She's somewhere over there in the shadows. I tried to coax her over to uh, come over. We were going to buy her some meat. But she was having none of it. So right now I'm just kind of standing here and I don't know what to do. I would ask for your suggestions, but of course by the time you see this it'll be too late, yada yada. But uh, if anybody has any ideas for future, for the future in this situation, uh, please let me know. And it would be very much appreciated. Anyway, that was my birthday meal. I had some meat on sticks and had a beer. Second lies over there talking to her, uh, the lady that runs the place. As usual, the man's doing all the cooking, but the woman runs the place. Trust me on this. Very good meat too. They had uh, some kind of cheesy like filling inside the uh, like the hot dogs then of course you got the meatballs <clears throat> made out of pork I believe they were very very nice very good and I'm so really concerned about that dog I thought once I fed him he'd be okay but uh the AT barely avoided getting hit going across all that traffic Now he's, oh, that motorbike just scared him. Looks like he's gonna attempt something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to see if I can go over there. But, uh, all right, talk to you guys uh, later. And I just wanna give a shout out and a thank you to all my supporters. As you know, I always say it's because of you we can go out and make these videos and teach and feed people for free. And each and every one is appreciated. And if I could, I would say thank you individually to each and every one. If you want to receive exclusive videos, content, books, and more, go to any of the links you see on your screen. There are clickable links down below and you will be added to the list. And I'll send you some goodies through your email just as a way of saying thank you when you first donate. Thank you. And I will talk to you guys in the next one.